So this is the way I remember it. You'll no doubt remember it differently. Flashback to November 9th, 2019. Picture a big room filled with dozens of Unitarians. We're sitting around tables, we're chatting, we're filling our faces with desserts. If you look up at the stage, there's Patty Cleary. She's got her stovepipe hat on and she's wearing her black vest. Off to the side, John DeRiker's already got his hand on his auction bidding stick. Uh, you know, tonight he's playing for keeps. The intermission's almost over. Everybody is wondering who will get the winning bid on the Hawaiian vacation, and how much will that bid be? It was about then that I got up to get one more lemon bar and check on the boys. Uh, the kids that evening were in a separate room doing separate activities. As I approached that room, Amy Johnson approached me. I think it was Amy. She looked me squarely in the eye and said something that would change my entire evening. She said, Nate, your son pooped his pants a little bit. Fellow UUs, I am Nate Otto. I am the VP of the congregation for, the, for UUC this year. And I'm here today to talk about ways we can connect with each other. In this case, it's a very specific way. On November 7th at 7 p.m., we're having one of the biggest events of the church year, the Harvest Auction. You might have guessed that it isn't going to be like before. And as much as I, I look forward to seeing everybody in person again, I'm okay with it being remote this year, and it's going to be on Zoom. And I'm not just saying that because my five-year-old pooped his pants and I had to go home early that evening. I'm saying it because this particular harvest is a chance to demonstrate how we can come together in a time of crisis. The event starts at 7 p.m. via Zoom on November 14th. This is more than a typical Zoom meeting. For starters, it's a Zoom meeting where you can potentially spend hundreds of dollars. You know, how many people here have been to a virtual auction before? It's a weird 2020 bucket list type item that it would just be neat to say you attended. But what I like best about this upcoming Harvest Auction is that we can bid on in-person activities that will happen later. These include nature walks, paddling excursions, and even vacations. So. While we distance ourselves now, we're preparing for a future where we can get together more often in person. And in the meantime, we still get to enjoy this shared live experience. Okay, and we let's admit it, uh, Zoom from home has its benefits too. I started this talk with an embarrassing harvest auction story about my son. I'll begin to wrap it up here with an embarrassing harvest auction story about my wife. Two years ago, Lauren and I were at the harvest auction and we were about to play the game HOTS. This is a game where everybody stands up and guesses the outcome of coin tosses. And if you guess wrong, you sit down. Or I think that's how it goes. I, I don't exactly remember. Somewhere in the mix, you have glowing you know, glow sticks wrapped around your wrists. Well. One of Lauren's glow sticks randomly snapped and it spattered glowing green goo all over her arm. Pardon the dad joke, but my wife looked positively radiant that evening. Okay, but she did look really good, by the way. Uh, so if you happen to be playing with a glow stick on November 14th at 7 p.m., and if that glow stick bursts all over you the way Lauren's glow stick bursts all over her, all you have to do is shut off your camera Nobody has to know. So yes, the Harvest Auction in 2020 will be uniquely 2020. On November 14th at 7 p.m., we don't get to chat face to face or fight for the privilege of being first in line for dessert. But if there's a lesson to be learned for this in this lockdown, it's that being together doesn't have to mean physical proximity. November 14th at 7 p.m., We'll be laughing at the same time, we'll be enjoying the same performances, we'll be outbidding each other for the same prizes. It will be great to be there with you guys. I might even show up in pajama bottoms. Who knows? You'll never know, because it's all on camera. But stay safe, everybody. This is going to be a lot of fun.